In terms of Ms. Alvarez and talking about, you know, everyone's credentials, I do want to go back for a moment when in describing, you know, the work that everyone has done and the impressiveness of their resumes, that in response to a FOIA request that was spent, sent to the state's attorney, that she sent out a document to the public and to the media that she knowingly uh, knew was inadequate, that it was not truthful and it, it did not contain the entire record of me having worked there for 12 years or the entire trial record that I had done. And that's troubling and that's concerning that the state's attorney is using her office uh, for political reasons. That in terms of credibility is an issue. And so the issues about where she's getting her money from in terms of public interest lawyer or personal interest lawyers who do business against the county, the same county in which the state's attorney's office represents the, the county, um, is of concern. But I think we have, there are broader concerns about transparency and accountability with this state's attorney, which again leads to a crisis of confidence and credibility of her I leadership. Answer, well, the the I, FOIA I just said, request was answered. The FOIA request was answered. We got more than one FOIA about your experience. We also got a FOIA uh, about Ms. Moore. Uh, and we do what we normally do is that search our database. And that was what was in the database. And the database and, is and woefully inadequate. It didn't have any... It, well, the FOIA request well, requested it, information it from thousands, Kim. It was thousands. missing yours. Thousands. It was missing yours. No. You just outlined the, the cases that FOIA you've done. My, my uh, record. You didn't FOIA it, but there was a FOIA request that asked for your record as well. There was a FOIA request that asked for Miss Moore's, and you turned a FOIA request around within hours when this newspaper knows how difficult it let's is for about, you to let's comply talk, let's with talk FOIA. Let's talk about contributions. Who's taking money from county contractors? County con contractors that you gave business to when you were chief of staff of Tony Preckwinkle. Who's on the phone making your their, your phone the phone calls asking people to donate to your to your campaign? Who's asking people to donate to her campaign so she could give you the money? Let's talk about that. I, let's talk about honesty and let's talk about using this office politically. I have never used this office politically. I, will, I have never made decisions based on some politician or what some politician I will, wants. I will never take orders from a politician and I won't be bullied by one. You're sitting here because you are here because of a politician I, who wants to control this office and control everything else. She is running your campaign. She is giving you money. You are taking money. You are taking money from county contractors and it's 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 horrific to see. You are and that's what money this paper from, should be looking at. You are taking money from state's attorneys and prosecutors who work in your office now, one of which was the head of civil who was fired, or I'm sorry, he was allowed to resign after making racist comments during the workday on Facebook about Not Michelle Obama and others. And he was one of your largest contributors and was allowed to be the head of civil. The division, the division money. that handles civil rights that yes. handles civil rights allegations. He is he gave you money previously. previously he was one of your top donors. Before he was fired, I can imagine that he is not giving money anymore now that he no longer works there. But before he was hired there and before he was appointed to head the civil division, he was one of your top donors. And you he continue is a that I, I've known and you for continue years. at this moment to accept contributions from attorneys. And I've worked there. When those when Political, I do not, when I political do not contributions, contributions come and from the, and my the employees, but I have been in the this office my entire that people legal have. career. My entire legal career, I have yes. partners in this office. I have friends; they're like family. They're, these are people I was in the I, when I was in the trenches, really trying cases because you were never there. When I was and in the trenches, you allowed me to be a cases. supervisor in I your office. I did I not worked, make you a supervisor. Okay. Dick and I did. worked there for four and a half and years under your leadership, Anita okay. Alvarez. Uh, Tom, you have a question?